tonight, this shark is working overtime. He's tough. Who cares? He's brash. Think it's a piece of crap. And tonight, Shark Tank's Kevin O'Leary is getting up in your face, literally. Don't get discouraged. Keep going. To teach you his top five secrets of the cell. Don't start crying. Be a man. You heard him. Mr. Wonderful is taking no prisoners. Business is war. My job is to salt the earth my competitors walk on and go home and hug my kids. You've been said to have all the subtlety of bleach. <laughs> it's a persona he forged at an early age. My first job was to scoop ice cream. The woman who owned the mall said to me, you've got to get down with a knife and scrape all the gum out. I said, I'm not going to wash the floors, I'm a scooper. And she looked at me and said, you're fired. I would never work for anybody again. Now they're working for him. And tonight, the guy who went from scooping ice cream to building a $4 billion company... I have enough to get by. I'm okay. <laughs> ...will show you not just how to sell stuff, but sell yourself. Welcome to the 2020 Sales Challenge. Because if you can sell this, cupcakes in a jar, you can sell anything. Your target market is anyone with a mouth. <laughs> Start selling and love the product. He's watching their every move on hidden camera. I love it. And throwing them into shark-infested waters to close the deal. You go first. Or else. You really are dead to me, I'm sorry. Tonight, who bites? <laughs> and who just bites the dust? No. This is where the rubber meets the road. Secrets of the Cell. Good evening. Right here tonight, you're going to learn from the master himself, Shark Tank's Kevin O'Leary, and the man who can sell anything, teaching you how to promote how to sell yourself, passing on the hard-earned secrets of the sell he's honed over the decades. Secrets you can use and need to be on the alert for when they're used on you. And now the shark is hitting the streets in a 2020 sales challenge. Here's ESPN's Hannah Storm with the play-by-play. -play. Step into the elevator. Toes to the yellow tape. Okay, we're rolling. rolling. All right, let's go. We ask college seniors who are about to hit the job market to sell their most important commodity first, themselves. You got it. In the time it takes for an elevator ride, otherwise known as the elevator pitch. Why should you choose me? I have a lot of energy. I'm a really big go-getter. I'm relentless. Definitely driven. Um, um. You can never beat the man who doesn't give up. People say it's a man's job, but guess what, guys? There's a new girl in town. You found your girl. A lot of kids graduating from college. How critical is sales for them? Every business has sales. If you have no sales, you have no business. You go bankrupt. Kevin is Mr. Fantastic. Sorry. Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Wonderful. Oh, wait. This is in the Shark Tank auditions? Thank you. In the end, six stand out and become our sales challenge semifinalists. Hi, my name is Ashley. Michael. Natasha. Zach. Mallory. Tommy. Time to meet the Sensei of Sales. Welcome to the 2020 Sales Challenge. Please have a seat. Our shark, Kevin O'Leary, leads a sales boot camp and shares his secrets. We're going to learn how to sell. Hardest job in the world, most rewarding job in the world, and the only job that you can measure every day. And in That's this class, so it's pass or fail. I've got to tell you the truth. I'm only picking three of you. 50% of you are going to be dead to me in a few minutes. <laughs> Kevin teaches his top five sales techniques that he guarantees can work for anyone. First, walk the walk. Great salesmen and women understand it's their destiny to be a salesperson and to be great. It has to be there all the time, 24-7. No chink in that armor. That's called walking the walk. Next. Feel the love. You have to love the product you're selling. You have to have an emotional bond with it. It has to be oozing from every pore that this is the greatest product you have ever sold. And remember our elevator challenge? So why should pick me? Because I don't give up. I can speak pretty well. Hone that perfect pitch. I'm currently in... Oh. Don't <laughs> dribble on. Capture your audience immediately. Communicate your vision for why the product belongs in their hands. That's the perfect pitch. Kevin's fourth technique, be kind, not nice. I don't trust nice people, all right? I don't believe that someone can be nice all the time. Every product has its merits and its downsides. Don't lie about a product as if there's no problems at all. Create that bond of trust, that's paramount. And finally, be sticky, not gummy. 
gummy people just keep going after the sale and wasting everybody's time. You have to make a decision whether they're ultimately going to buy from you or not. As soon as you understand that they're not, don't waste your time. Cut them loose. What are typical body language signs that, okay, they're definitely not interested? If they step back from you, first, that's a negative. If they don't stop and you're chasing them as they're walking, that's not good either. Those are Kevin's sales techniques. Now they must learn the product from a quirky Boston cupcake company that O'Leary invested in on Shark Tank. We came up with the idea of shipping them in a jar. Our cupcake jars are baked fresh daily. We layer them with homemade frosting and filling, ship them in gift boxes with spoons so they're ready to eat right out of the package. What was it that you saw in Wicked Good Cupcakes that made you want to invest? Could we take a commodity, and there's nothing more like a commodity than a cupcake. Anybody can make one and make it the fastest growing cupcake brand in America. And today, those cupcakes will be the currency, separating the winners from the losers. Let's do a little role playing. I want to get a sense of how you're going to sell, okay? Let's start with you, Ashley. Would you like these amazing cupcakes I have here? I mean, the flavor is just so out of this world. How much is it? Five dollars. Five dollars for a cupcake? Are you crazy? All right, Tommy, what do you do about the price objection? Five bucks, you out of your mind? It's the fastest growing company in America, without a doubt, and uh, in fact... It's the fastest growing cupcake company in America. Fast, yeah. Let's not lie to anybody. Well, fastest growing <laughs> cupcake company in the world. All right, five dollars, I don't want to buy it. Mallory. It's a reusable jar. You know, it comes with a spoon. It's easy to eat on the go. Natasha, you've convinced me. I'll buy one. What are you, you going to do now? Why don't you buy two for your significant other, your child? They're going to love it. You can give it to your friends. Great gift. Is there a specific target market that we're trying to target? Your target market is anyone with a mouth. <laughs> All right? Michael, what are you going to do when somebody says, look, I have no time. I'm really, really busy. I can't talk to you. You can maybe come by later. We're still going to be here for the rest of the day. Now you want to make the sale right there. There's no, no future. When they walk away from you, they're gone forever. Zachary, I'm not interested in the cupcake. I don't want one right now. Is that so? Well, let me, let me tell you something. This is the best cupcake in the entire world. You should be honored to be giving me the money for this fantastic product. Your pitch isn't working, all right? What do you do to modify? You go back to the fundamentals and ask yourself, which of these am I not doing? Because if you're doing all of these, it works 100% of the time. Now it's time to bring the sales boot camp to a close. All right, this is the moment of truth. And when I tell you, I want you to walk out because you really are dead to me, I'm sorry. It's a learning experience, but you didn't make the cut. Life is like that, all right? Mallory, your history. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's so tough. But Michael, you're gone. Thank you. Good luck to you. Zachary, you're gone. I'm sorry, my friend. It's okay. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. All right. Now the hard work begins. Let's start by meeting Wicked Good Cupcakes. Tracy Danny, come on in here. Tracy and Danny created this company from scratch. Congratulations. How exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Every jar has two cupcakes inside. All across America, this product sells for $7.25. What are you going to let them sell it for today? $5. So that's a great discount. Huge selling weapon. You need to be able to say our product name correctly. It's a cupcake in a jar. Mm -hmm. Can everyone cupcake say that? In a jar. jar. There you Excellent. go. Excellent. <laughs> Perfect. Each of you is getting a Wicked Good Cupcake apron. Having equipped the contestants with all his knowledge, Kevin has them dress for the part. And, of course, a chef's hat to prove that they're freshly baked. All right? You have everything you need. You know about the product. You know about the five pillars of selling. You've got your outfits. Let the games begin. Get out there and sell. All right. Woo! Hey! Union Square in New York City is in full bloom when our cupcake truck rolls in. We've tricked it out with the Wicked Good Cupcakes logo and set up our hidden cameras. The truck is stocked with five flavors of cupcakes. Our mother-daughter owners are manning the truck. This is where the rubber meets the road. It's time to start selling. The rules are simple. 30 minutes each, whoever sells the most cupcakes wins. 
but with a twist. I'm throwing a little bit of a wrinkle. This is a yam flavor. You know what a yam is? It's a potato, basically. Our shark dislikes the idea of the Sweetie Pie Cupcake so much, as their biggest investor, he actually tried to kill it off several times without even trying it. Who wants to eat a sweet potato cupcake? Have you ever tried one? It's so foreign a concept to me, I wouldn't stick the spoon in the jar. Sweet potato? I mean, that's disgusting. But today, potato sales are extra sweet. If you sell this, Instead of all the other flavors, you get double points. And Ashley, you all go right. first, all right? Yes. Game on. Eye in the sky. Inside our control van, Kevin is plugged into Ashley's brain through an earpiece, giving her real-time direction. Three, two, one, start selling Ashley. Are you interested in cupcakes? The sweetie pie one, if you're really into sweet potatoes, that's a good one. I love it. Uh, immediately, Ashley goes for those double yam points. Actual sea salt. Starting to invest a lot of time in this guy. It's good, I promise. You. It's Ashley's first test. Sticky, not gummy. Stay or move on. He's going for it. Oh, yeah, he's going for his credit card. Ashley's first sale, she makes it stick. They're five dollars a jar. But the clock is still ticking. The company was on Shark Tank, and Kevin O'Leary invested in them. Then Ashley runs into the balker. Five dollars jar, but no, 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 wait. A customer put off by the price tag. There's two cupcakes. Undeterred by the scoff, I'm telling you, once you get hooked, she lures back in the wallet-conscious consumer. She closed it. She did it. But just when she's hit her stride. Hi, would you like a cupcake today? A dry spell. No. Oh, cupcakes for sale. She's not commanding her space. She's hanging out near the truck. I'm seeing people go by her, not even knowing she's there. That's a big problem. Wait, wait, she's got something going. Sweetie pie is awesome. All right, sweetie pie, sea salt, and wicked good. Woo! She just bought three. Are you guys trying to buy Whoa. any cupcakes? Yeah. Yeah. Outstanding. Good job, girlfriend. But despite her cupcake hat trick, Ashley's about to commit one of the biggest sins of sales. Yeah. You can go in the back and come back. No, 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 no come back. Don't leave, take the cash. Remember Kevin's words of wisdom. When they walk away from you, they're gone forever, forever, forever. Then the sales equivalent of seeing a unicorn. Awesome, yeah, you're back. Yes, you wow. did. Oh my gosh, that wait, never a customer happens. actually came that back. That never happens. <laughs> And now she's killing it. She's closing every 60 seconds. She's going to be the one to beat, I think. Three, two, one. Ashley, it's over. Yay, Ashley! Woo! I'm pumped. I'm ready. Next up, Tommy. Oh, he's just cracking. Tommy, ready? you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's go. go. Cupcake in a job. Tommy's off to a rough start. It's only five bucks for today, too. Normally, there's $7.25. Oh, no. He lost one there. New Yorkers not buying the Boston accent. Cupcakes in a jar. Two cupcakes per jar. Cupcake no. in a jar? No. no. Really? Okay. Cupcake in a jar? No. Bad body language. He's not really walking the walk right now. Maybe he's not being dogged enough. Tommy, when you see somebody with a dog, tell them dogs love them. Hey, ma'am. I actually had that same exact dog. Dogs love sweet potato. Clearly, he hasn't learned stay. Customer and canine exit. Sans cupcake. Okay, regroup. Get closer to the truck. Okay, start barking at these guys. Cupcakes in a jar. Wicked good cupcakes. Two cupcakes per jar. Five dollars only today. All of a sudden, he's got the momentum back. He's got some momentum back. She's buying. Oh, she's buying. Look at this. He's got a monster Great. line appearing. But Tommy's forgetting. Be kind, not nice. And when you're done with eating it, can wash it out and use the mason jar for something, you know? He's being nice. Yeah, why? He's wasting right. his time. They're already gonna buy. Mm -hmm. Feel the love, feel the love. You know what's even better than an umbrella? A cupcake. I know. Yeah. I'm looking at. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's so funny. Wait. He's got the charm, right? He's oh. reeling him in. He's reeling him in. Maybe some time. Unbelievable. Good. Minutes left, Tommy. Sweet potatoes, marshmallows. A minute left. Nope, this is it. We're out of here. Three, two, one. Cupcake. Tommy, shut it down. Oh. Peace. Back to Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Got it in the bag. Time for our final contender. Looking to walk the walk, it's Natasha. Ready to see what I've got? Okay, Natasha, you ready? Ready. And you're on. We have so many flavors. We're bringing some Boston to New York. It's cupcake in a jaw. She's tall, she stands out. And she's got some swagger. Use all the weaponry you've got. But despite the weaponry, Natasha okay. is missing her targets. Hi, would you like a cupcake and a jaw? 
Whoa, that was a blow off <laughs> right New there. York City. Look at that. Until the Dapper Dude. Natasha I'm takes gonna... Feel the Love to a whole new level. I would get one for you and your sweetie as well. You and your girl. She's a killer. This one wants Sweetie Pie and Wicked Gun. Him and his girl, he's good news tonight. She sold it. Sweetie Pie, it's made with yam, so it's more on the healthier side. Still searching for that perfect pitch, Natasha turns to hell. Most popular is the Sweetie Pie. It's like very guilt-free. <laughs> Feel free. Feel <laughs> free. Sure, there's no calories. Who's going to fall for that? We've only got 11 minutes to keep that energy up. I probably. feel like she's running out of a little bit of steam. The once busy sidewalk, now barren. She's got to switch it up. You know what, Natasha? Grab one of the jars and hold it in your hand. Cupcakes in a jar? Natasha using cupcakes. the shiny jars to direct traffic to the truck. Hi, would you like cupcakes Ooh, in a jar? Oh, look at this. This could work. Okay, okay cool. let's see if she All got right. these, dude. She, she got them. She got them. She got them. Love your dress, by the way. You could go to peanut butter and chocolate chips. We don't give samples because right. they're so good. As the clock runs down, her line builds up. Oh, and she's reaching oh, into her pocket. Yeah. Oh, woo, 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 woo. Natasha, one minute left. You want a cupcake? Straight from Shark Tank, leaving in one minute. I think you need a cupcake in your life. Three, two, cupcake. one. Natasha, it's over for you. Aww. And that's a wrap. Right. Give Thank yourself you. a hand. <laughs> okay, guys, so here's what we're gonna do. Kevin's gone. We're, we're gonna go tally everything up. We're gonna meet up again. We'll announce the winner. Will the winner be Ashley, Tommy, or Natasha? Hey. Hey. Hi guys. How are you? How are you, you? Good. Good. How are you guys? It's great. It's really a time to celebrate. I think all three of you did some unique things, good and bad. All right, Ashley, with all the energy you had, is you would just jump out there and get going. And that's exactly what happened. I loved it. I loved it. On the negative, you didn't go to the middle of the sidewalk and use the advantage of commanding that space. Tommy, your laid-back attitude was very honest, open. You were barking it out there. You had that thing going with the jaw <laughs> by the car. Cupcakes in the jaw. Two cupcakes. The whole Boston <laughs> thing. you got to do. Natasha, you commanded the sidewalk, and you were good at the whole sticky versus gummy. For your sweetie. So somebody won, and two lost. Hannah. Tommy was the winner. Oh, look at this! All right, here you go. Here Tommy, you go. congratulations. Yeah, winner of the 2020 sales <laughs> challenge, Tommy. But we're not done just yet. Remember what Kevin said about that sweet potato cupcake? Sweet potato? I mean, that's disgusting. We challenged the shark to take a bite. This is Sweetie Pie. Uh, this product scares me. Opportunity, I just, you gotta taste it and Mm. Wow. It's not bad. <laughs> Going in for the second spoonful. See, it's not bad. Yeah, it's actually very, very tasty. So you'll you'll concede that maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe just, you were wrong about uh, this one. I was wrong about this one. There you go. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! Number one rule, great salesmen and women understand it's their destiny to be a salesperson and to be great. It is an army some 600,000 strong in the U.S. alone. Their favorite vehicle, pink Cadillacs, of course. That may have tipped you off. It's Mary Kay Cosmetics and its legion of devoted sellers and buyers. Not just selling makeup, but a version of the American dream. Some say, however, that their experience wasn't all pretty and pink. Here's Rebecca Jarvis. Are you ready? Musical performances, sashes and crowns, and an amped up audience that can't seem to get enough. This scene has all the glamour and glory of the Miss America pageant, but this is no beauty contest. It's a celebration of sales. Welcome to awards night at Seminar, the annual convention of the iconic cosmetics and skincare company, 
Mary Kay. We're a global company in over 35 markets worldwide and we sell our products through a direct sales business model. We'll just sample some of the skincare. Direct sales, that means Mary Kay doesn't sell its products in stores or online, but through independent beauty consultants like Kelly Johnsrud, who sell to friends, family, and anyone they meet. With our Mary Kay eyeliner, like once it's on, it's really on, okay? Just blend it in. Skincare classes like this, Women sitting around a dining room table are the foundation of the company's $4 billion sales empire. That is your shade. The Cosmetics Colossus was founded 53 years ago by Mary Kay Ash, recognized as a titan of American entrepreneurship. And Mary Kay products from lip gloss to eyeliner have been recognized for their quality. A lot of you are already like in love with some of these products and that's how I feel too. The company's website promotes the chance to sign up as a great part-time choice or a lucrative full-time opportunity if you choose. Kelly grew up as a Mary Kay kid. My mom started her business when I was seven years old. This is the only career she's known, but fellow sales directors Brian Reeves and Larise Patterson worked corporate jobs before joining Mary Kay, in part because of the flexibility it offers working moms. So we're going to go make a product delivery, and it's to one of my great friends. With Mary Kay, you really start there with the friends, the family, the relatives, and sometimes that can be a little awkward. Working with family and friends can be comfortable if you're upfront and have great communication and expectations going in. The company's founder provided some guidance for her sales force. She charged us with walking into a skincare class or a facial and acting like they had a sign around their neck that says, make me feel important. Hey, nice. awesome. Okay, thank you. goodies. Nice. And you look gorgeous this morning. Thank you. you too. These women are not just selling cosmetics, but a business opportunity. That's because consultants Consultants make money not only on product sales, they can rise in the ranks by signing up other people to join the team. You get a commission whenever your recruits order product. One of the women was at a party um, two weeks ago. We stopped me and said, I want to talk to you about the promotion Mary Kay is doing in September. So uh, potentially signing up uh, to do the business. Plus, once 24 people have signed up to join your unit, you're on your way to one of these, a famed pink Cadillac. Custom designed just for Mary Kay. Each of these three success stories drives one. Obviously the most famous trophy on wheels, and it is a mm -hmm. lot of fun. It's like a representation of the American dream mm -hmm. on the road, and I think a lot of people know that. That's just one of the awards consultants can earn. This one is for my own personal sales, the Queen's Court of Sharing. And at seminar, there's even a throne. And you may not think you would like that, Rebecca, but let me tell you, when you're on the stage and there is an adoring audience cheering for you, <laughs> you get into it. <laughs> Unlike other businesses, a Mary Kay consultancy doesn't cost much to launch. Just a hundred bucks for a starter kit. You know, one of the things that was most important to Mary Kay was that she create a low cost way for a woman to own her own business and be her own boss. And Mary Kay's buyback policy offers 90% refunds for all inventory purchased within the last 12 months. If I didn't love it and if I couldn't find my way of doing it, then I had a little bit of a safety net. Today, Mary Kay claims a worldwide sales force of three and a half million, and it's easy to find women who rave about the company. What's harder is to get answers to the kind of question you hear all the time on Shark Tank. What was your profit of that? What will you make? What's your profit on that? What did you make? in your very best year. Yeah, you know what? I would have to look. Uh, you don't know? Because we have the freedom and flexibility to ramp it up when we want to ramp it up and ramp it down when we want to ramp it down. I would have to look, actually. <laughs> Do you know, Larisse? It was well over 100000 What was it after expenses? It was still extremely profitable. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it you know, my expenses did drastically go up that year. What did you make last year with Mary Kay? I would have to look. Um, I'm not to six figures yet, but I'm in, in the neighborhood. If I don't know my exact numbers, it's because I'm really focusing on what my day is like. Do I love my life? One of the things I love about Mary Kay is she always said the P&L in our world is people, not profit and loss, but it's people. As for Mary Kay corporate, well, in its magazine, Applause, the company touts the whopping commission checks top earners take home. 
But it is determined not to reveal what kind of income you can expect if you choose to go for that lucrative full-time opportunity. We're very careful not to share averages because it really depends on each individual circumstance. And the vast majority of women, they're interested in earning a little extra income for their families. But if I'm a mom and I need to put food on my table and I'm thinking about going this direction, I want to know, can I support my family on this? I think if you look at it, you realize that you buy the product at a 50% discount, you sell it at a suggested retail price. So typically if you pay $7 for the product, you sell it for $14. You know what that gross profit is going to be. Lynn Powell Glowacki could barely contain her glee when she was up on stage at this Mary Kay event. As a sales director, she even painted one of her basement walls pink. This is Success Summit. Today, she looks back on those moments with disappointment. Now, any company will have its detractors. In fact, there's even a website where disgruntled ex-consultants share their stories. That's how we got in touch with Lynn and these other women who say after trying it part-time, they left their jobs to do Mary Kay full-time. I worked in marketing for a medical company. I was a therapist. I'm a muralist. I was a government contractor. And they hoped to make big bucks. Yet they all left years ago disappointed. All four of you became sales directors. How much work did that take? It's 24-7, Mary Kay, Mary Kay, Mary Kay on your mind. I may have to go to eight, nine, ten people before I get somebody who agrees to have a skincare class. We would go to the mall. We would go, oh. Starbucks. We would go to Starbucks. You go to the grocery store, you'd hang out in the purse aisle. You were trying to meet people to, to mm -hmm. sell them Mary Kay, and not just sell them, but sell them on a business eventually. Where do they say most of their income came from? Recruiting. <laughs> Recruiting. Recruiting. And when they couldn't make their numbers, they say they would sometimes order extra product just to maintain their status. The cars, the applause washing over them at seminar. And if your team falls short, if you don't want to lose your directorship, you kick in that extra money and you For get that extra yeah. product. Yeah, and, and make that happen. Candace Santamoro, a software engineer when she joined Mary Kay, says she was a step away from the top tier in the company. But then she started feeling ashamed of how she'd gotten there. I encouraged people to place orders in order for us to make our numbers. You have people doing crazy things, recruiting their grandmother, um, ordering lots of products so that they can be honored for that and recognized for that at seminar. Candace was even recognized in Applause magazine. And yet she walked away from Mary Kay in 2007. I was earning income for the most part on the backs of other women. And I saw with my own two eyes the warehousing of the product, meaning they had basements full of it or closets full of it or garages full of it. That shocks me to hear that. How do you know the product isn't ending up in people's basements? Oh, trust me, Rebecca, we know that women love to buy Mary Kay products over and over again. The company says tens of millions of dollars of consulted orders are shipped directly to consumers every year. Even so, take a look at this. Inventory from a consultant who is leaving the company. She agreed to show us boxes of products she said she bought to keep her status. On the rare occasion that we do hear that someone has purchased more than they can sell, we absolutely address that and make sure that they know they have the opportunity to utilize the 90% buyback. That's important. But note, any bonuses and prizes based on you ordering those products will be deducted. So what's it like to attend a Mary Kay guest event as a prospective consultant? We wanted to see for ourselves, so we showed up at this recent event with hidden cameras. We walk into a room full of people, mostly women. There's a festive mood. Music, food, beverages. We're later invited to check out the cars outside. This pink Cadillac grabs our attention. We're even invited to sit inside. And it's, all, it's got like memory seats, so like, check this out, girl. Walking around, we heard this. Free. Yeah, Mary Kay cars. Free. 
What do you mean free? Can we sign what, what do you get free? free? I have my fifth free car. And you get them free. Tax title tags, insurance covered, gas is a write-off. It's free. You sign your name and you drive away. Start a Mary Kay business. It's $100 to get started. When you have five team members, you go and target for a free car. It's that simple. So as long as you're working, there's a production, but it's so simple to do when you have a team. But it depends on your definition of simple. To earn the lowest level car, a Chevy Cruze, a consultant must build a 14-member team that orders $20,000 in wholesale over four months. And to drive that coveted pink Cadillac SRX, first you need 24 unit members to become a sales director, then $102,000 worth of unit wholesale orders over six months. And if you don't maintain required production levels, there's a copay. Later inside, we sat down with another director. Unlike the people we interviewed at Mary Kay, she had no problem telling us how much money we could expect to earn. But if you have five or six hours, I'm you should literally make five or six hundred dollars. A week? Sure, Sean. Yes. And that's just, just five insane. to six hours? Wow, that's one hundred dollars an hour? Right, because what you're doing is you're holding parties and you get half so of what you sell. I know. A party's about an hour and a half to two hours. Okay. And the average party for a new person is $200. So if you hold three of those a week, that's $600, right? You're going to make half, that's $300, okay? But corporate says you can't take that number to the bank. And it's a no-no for sales directors to make those claims. Again, I'll tell you, anytime I hear someone talking about averages, I can tell you with certainty that's not the way we teach people to talk about the Mary Kay business. And Why do you think it's happening then? Well, I wasn't there and you know, wasn't involved in the event. I, I'd hate to speculate, but you know, people make mistakes sometimes. We are all human. You don't have to see much of Mary Kay's seminar to see that these women are getting a lot more out of the experience than commissions, the camaraderie, the fun, and for some, the pink Cadillac. How hard would you be willing to work for all that? That's for you to decide. Over the last year, right here on 2020, we've covered everything from counterfeits and fake products to misleading advertising for them. And now another case of buyer beware when it comes to spending your money. Big boasts versus the bitter reality when you peel off the packaging. So tonight, right here, how not to get fooled. Once again, Rebecca Jarvis. We're blowing up these Bonsai brand kiddie pools to show that what you see isn't always what you get. And while their boxes list actual dimensions, the fun-filled photo is what grabbed these four to six-year-olds' attention. Spacious and full of kids. Four, five, six. But they're about to get a grown-up lesson about a shady sales tactic, the photo fake-out. People will uh, lie and exaggerate, and you have to be able to recognize it. Advertising critic Bob Garfield warns shopper beware of these tactics. As for our group, they've now seen this photo that was once used on the Bonsai Wild Waves water park box. So, how did it match up against the real thing? Okay, you guys ready to see this pool? Yeah! Okay, bad start. Still, they make the best of it, splashing and playing, then try to go down the slide. In the photo, notice the child has plenty of room to throw her hands in the air. But in reality... To put your arms up, do you have to be like my baby brother? How old's your baby brother? So no one could do it. Three months. I thought it was going to be like bigger. It looks like it's bigger, but it's actually not. It's smaller. Anyone who's outgrown their underoos needs to know about this next shady ploy, the sale fail. Exhibit A, these signs were pushing great deals in Hobby Lobby stores. That looks fabulous. 50% off. I would be willing to buy that, yes. Not so fast, said the New York Attorney General. These supposedly sensational sales were actually offered every single day for at least a year. How could it always be 50% off the mark price? That's not a sale. That's a little misleading. 
While not admitting guilt, Hobby Lobby paid a $220,000 settlement last June. Hobby Lobby, uh, kind of sloppy lobby, they, uh, they got themselves caught. It's and here's another sale fail. If you want to stay warm and cuddly, it's time to get on your Snuggie. That's right. Even if you would actually right. wear a Snuggie in public, you could have the wool pulled over your eyes if you aren't paying attention. Snuggie. Call right now and we'll give you a second Snuggie in book light free. Just pay processing and handling. $20 for two. Great deal. Until you're hit with 16 bucks more in processing and handling fees. The company agreed to refund customers and say they believed they complied with the law. That's right! Our next secret of the cell, the tiny type hiding behind big height. Like this Sears ad, promising an extra 15% off all appliances with Sears car. You're ready to shop. I am. Do you want to see the fine print first? Yeah, let's do that. Well, clear your schedule, because as the website mouseprint.org found last year, there's a sea of fine print below that 15% off all. Excludes dinner air, decor. Ten more cooktops. Ten more wool ovens. Water heaters. Ten more ranches. <laughs> Sewing machines, microwaves, air conditioners. It keeps going on and on and on. All of these are exclusions. What can I buy? Sears quickly corrected what they called an inadvertent error. Next, a new twist on an old trick, the bait and switch. When Ashley Madison, that website for a fair-seeking adult, was recently hacked, know what else was revealed? That tens of thousands of female profiles were, sorry dudes, fembots, invented by crafty computer programmers. Pitch. Kevin's fourth technique, be kind, not nice. I don't trust nice people, <laughs> all right? I don't believe that someone can be nice all the time. Every product has its merits and its downsides. Don't lie about a product as if there's no problems at all. Create that bond of trust, that's paramount. And finally, be sticky, not gummy. Gummy people just keep going after the sale and wasting everybody's time. You have to make a decision whether they're ultimately going to buy from you or not. As soon as you understand that they're not, don't waste your time. Cut them loose. What are typical body language signs that, okay, they're definitely not interested? If they step back from you, first, that's a negative. If they don't stop and you're chasing them as they're walking, that's not good either. Those are Kevin's sales techniques. Now they must learn the product from a quirky Boston cupcake company that O'Leary invested in on Shark Tank. We came up with the idea of shipping them in a jar. Our cupcake jars are baked fresh daily, we layer them with homemade frosting and filling, ship them in gift boxes with spoons so they're ready to eat right out of the package. What was it that you saw in Wicked Good Cupcakes that made you want to invest? Could we take a commodity, and there's nothing more like a commodity than a cupcake. Anybody can make one and make it the fastest growing cupcake brand in America. Yeah, they got themselves caught. It's and here's another sale love. fail. If you want to stay warm and cuddly, it's time to get on your Snuggie. That's right! Even if you would actually right. wear a Snuggie in public, you could have the wool pulled over your eyes if you aren't paying attention. Snuggie. Call right now and we'll give you a second Snuggie in book light free. Just pay processing and handling. $20 for two. Great deal. Until you're hit with 16 bucks more in processing and handling fees. The company agreed to refund customers and say they believed they complied with the law. That's right! Our next secret of the cell, the tiny type hiding behind big height. Like this Sears ad, promising an extra 15% off all appliances with Sears car. You're ready to shop. I am. Do you want to see the fine print first? Yeah, let's do that. Well, clear your schedule, because as the website mouseprint.org found last year, there's a sea of fine print below that 15% off all. Excludes dinner air, decor. Ten more cooktops. Ten more wool ovens. Water heaters. Ten more ranches. <laughs> Sewing machines, microwaves, air conditioners. It keeps going on and on and on. All of these are exclusions. What can I buy? Sears quickly corrected what they called an inadvertent error. Next, a new twist on an old trick, the bait and switch. He's watching their every move on hidden camera. I love it. 
and throwing them into shark-infested waters to close the deal. You go first. Or else. You really are dead to me, I'm sorry. Tonight, who bites? <laughs> And who just bites the dust? No! This is where the rubber meets the road. Secrets of the Cell. Good evening. Right here tonight, you're going to learn from the master himself, Shark Tank's Kevin O'Leary, and the man who can sell anything, teaching you how to promote how to sell yourself, passing on the hard-earned secrets of the cell he's honed over the decades. Secrets you can use and need to be on the alert for when they're used on you. And now the shark is hitting the streets in a 2020 sales challenge. Here's ESPN's Hannah Storm with the play-by-play. -play. Step into the elevator. Toes to the yellow tape. Okay, we're rolling. rolling. All right, let's go. We ask college seniors who are about to hit the job market to sell their most important commodity first, themselves. You got it. In the time it takes for an elevator ride, otherwise known as the elevator pitch. Why should you choose me? I have a lot of energy. I'm a really big go-getter. I'm relentless. Definitely driven. Um, um. You can never beat the man who doesn't give up. People say it's a man's job, but guess what, guys? There's a new girl in town. You found your girl. A lot of kids graduating from college. How critical is sales for them? Every business has sales. If you have no sales, you have no business. You go bankrupt. Kevin is Mr. Used on the Bonsai Wild Waves water park box. So, how did it match up against the real thing? Okay, you guys ready to see this pull? Yeah! yeah. Never mind. <laughs> okay, bad start. Still, they make the best of it, splashing and playing, then try to go down the slide. In the photo, notice the child has plenty of room to throw her hands in the air. But in reality... Yes, you are. To put your arms up, you have to be like oh, my baby brother. How old's your baby brother? So no one could do it. Three months. Well, I thought it was going to be like bigger. It looks like it's bigger, but it's actually not. It's smaller. Anyone who's outgrown their underoos needs to know about this next shady ploy, the sale fail. Exhibit A, these signs were pushing great deals in Hobby Lobby stores. That looks fabulous. 50% off? I would be willing to buy that, yes. Not so fast, said the New York Attorney General. These supposedly sensational sales were actually offered every single day for at least a year. How could it always be 50% off the mark price? That's not a sale. That's a little misleading. While not admitting guilt, Hobby Lobby paid a $220,000 settlement last June. Hobby Lobby, a uh, kind of sloppy lobby, they plugged into Ashley's brain through an earpiece, giving her real-time direction. Three, two, one, start selling Ashley. Are you interested in cupcakes? The sweetie pie one, if you're really into sweet potatoes, that's a good one. I love it. Uh, immediately, Ashley goes for those double yam points. Actual sea salt. Starting to invest a lot of time in this guy. It's good, I promise. You. It's Ashley's first test. Sticky, not gummy. Stay or move on. He's going for it. Oh, yeah, he's going for his credit card. Ashley's first sale, she makes it stick. They're $5 a jar. But the clock is still ticking. The company was on Shark Tank and Kevin O'Leary invested in them. Then Ashley runs into the balker. $5 jar, but no, 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 wait. A customer put off by the price tag. There's two cupcakes. Undeterred by the scoff. I'm telling you, once you get hooked, she lures back in the wallet-conscious consumer. She closed it. She did it. But just when she's hit her stride. Hi, would you like a cupcake today? A dry spell. No. Oh, cupcakes for sale. She's not commanding her space. She's hanging out near the truck. I'm seeing people go by her, not even knowing she's there. That's a big problem. Wait, wait, she's got something going. Sweetie pie is awesome. All right, sweetie pie, sea salt, and wicked good. Woo! She just bought three. Are you guys trying to buy Whoa. any cupcakes? Yeah. Yeah. Outstanding. Good job, girlfriend. But despite her cupcake hat trick, Ashley spoonful. See, it's not bad. You know, it's actually very, very tasty. So you'll you'll concede that maybe yeah, yeah, maybe just, you were wrong about uh, this one. I was wrong about this one. You got it. Cheers. Woo! Number one rule: great salesmen and women understand it's their destiny to be a salesperson and to be great.
It is an army some 600,000 strong in the U.S. alone. Their favorite vehicle, pink Cadillacs, of course. That may have tipped you off. It's Mary Kay Cosmetics and its legion of devoted sellers and buyers. Not just selling makeup, but a version of the American dream. Some say, however, that their experience wasn't all pretty and pink. Here's Rebecca Jarvis. Are you ready for the most exciting night of your life? <laughs> Musical performances, sashes and crowns, and an amped up audience that can't seem to get enough. This scene has all the glamour and glory of the Miss America pageant. But this is no beauty contest. It's a celebration of sales. Welcome to awards night at Seminar, the annual convention of the iconic cosmetics and skincare company, Mary Kay. We're a global company. To take a bite. This is Sweetie Pie. Uh, this product scares me. Opportunity. I just, you gotta taste it and. Mm. Wow. It's not bad. <laughs> Going in for the second spoonful. See, it's not bad. Yeah, it's actually very, very tasty. So you'll you'll concede that maybe yeah, yeah, maybe just, you were wrong about uh, this one. I was wrong about this one. There you go. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! Number one rule: great salesmen and women understand it's their destiny to be a salesperson and to be great. It is an army some 600,000 strong in the U.S. alone. Their favorite vehicle, pink Cadillacs, of course. That may have tipped you off. It's Mary Kay Cosmetics and its legion of devoted sellers and buyers. Not just selling makeup, but a version of the American dream. Some say, however, that their experience wasn't all pretty and pink. Here's Rebecca Jarvis. Are you ready? Musical performances, sashes and crowns, and an amped up audience that can't seem to get enough. This scene has all the glamour and glory of the Miss America pageant. But Jin, you hear all the time on Shark Tank. What was your profit of that? What will you make? What's your profit on that? What did you make? in your very best year. Yeah, you know what? I would have to look. Uh, you don't know? Because we have the freedom and flexibility to ramp it up when we want to ramp it up and ramp it down when we want to ramp it down. I would have to look, actually. <laughs> Do you know, Larice? It was well over 100000 What was it after expenses? It was still extremely profitable. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it you know, my expenses did drastically go up that year. What did you make last year with Mary Kay? I would have to look. Um, I'm not to six figures yet, but I'm in, in the neighborhood. If I don't know my exact numbers, it's because I'm really focusing on what my day is like. Do I love my life? One of the things I love about Mary Kay is she always said the P&L in our world is people, not profit and loss, but it's people. As for Mary Kay corporate, well, in its magazine, Applause, the company touts the whopping commission checks top earners take home. But it is determined not to reveal what kind of income you can expect if you choose to go for that lucrative full-time opportunity. We're very careful not to share averages because it really depends on each individual circumstance. And the vast majority of women, they're interested in earning a little extra income for their families. But if I'm a mom, and I need to put food on my table, and I'm thinking about going this direction. I want to can sell. We absolutely address that and make sure that they know they have the opportunity to utilize the 90% buyback. That's important. But note, any bonuses and prizes based on you ordering those products will be deducted. So, what's it like to attend a Mary Kay guest event as a prospective consultant? We wanted to see for ourselves, so we showed up at this recent event with hidden cameras. We walk into a room full of people, mostly women. There's a festive mood. Music, food, beverages. We're later invited to check out the cars outside. This pink Cadillac grabs our attention. We're even invited to sit inside. 
Walking around, we heard this. Free. Yeah, they already cars. Free. <laughs> what do you mean free? Can we sell what, what do you get free? free? I have my fifth free car. And you get them free. Tax title tags, insurance covered, gas is a write-off. It's free. You sign your name and you drive away. Start a Mary Kay business. It's $100 to get started. When you have five team members, you go and target for a free car. It's that simple. So as long as you're working, there's a production, but it's so simple to do when you have a team. But it depends on your definition of simple. To earn the lowest level car, a Chevy Cruze, a consultant must build a 14-member team that orders about a shady sales tactic, the photo fake out. People will uh, lie and exaggerate, and you have to be able to recognize it. Advertising critic Bob Garfield warns shopper beware of these tactics. As for our group, they've now seen this photo that was once used on the Bonsai Wild Waves water park box. So how did it match up against the real thing? Okay, you guys ready to see this poll? Yeah! Okay, bad start. Still, they make the best of it, splashing and playing, then try to go down the slide. In the photo, notice the child has plenty of room to throw her hands in the air. But in reality... Yeah, you feel big person. Yes, you are. To put your arms up, you have to be like oh, my baby brother. Baby. How old's your baby brother? So no one could do it. Three months. Well, I thought it was going to be like bigger. It looks like it's bigger. But it's actually not. It's smaller. Anyone who's outgrown their underoos needs to know about this next shady ploy, the sale fail. Exhibit A, these signs were pushing great deals in Hobby Lobby stores. That looks fabulous. 50% off? I would be willing to buy that, yes. Not so fast, said the New York Attorney General. These supposedly sensational sales were actually offered. Mallory, your history. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's so tough. But Michael, you're gone. Thank you. Good luck to you. Zachary, you're gone. I'm sorry, my friend. It's okay. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. All right. Now the hard work begins. Let's start by meeting Wicked Good Cupcakes. Tracy, Danny, come on in here. Tracy and Danny created this company from scratch. Congratulations. How exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Every jar has two cupcakes inside. All across America, this product sells for $7.25. What are you going to let them sell it for today? $5. So that's a great discount. Huge selling weapon. You need to be able to say our product name correctly. It's a cupcake in a jar. Mm -hmm. Can everyone cupcake say that? In a jar. jar. There you Excellent. go. Excellent. <laughs> Perfect. Each of you is getting a Wicked Good Cupcake apron. Having equipped the contestants with all his knowledge, Kevin has them dress for the part. And, of course, a chef's hat to prove that they're freshly baked. All right? You have everything you need. You know about the product. You know about the five pillars of selling. You've got your outfits. Let the games begin. Get out there and sell. Union Square in New York City is in full 